All right, guys, I'm, I was back at it for a little bit, and I didn't want to record it because I put a video up, and it's literally like almost 30 minutes long already. <laughs> so I got that exporting now, and I'll get that uploaded. So if you want to watch through it, that's totally up to you. Not, eh, no, who cares? But anyway, not who cares, but you know what I mean. Sometimes, I mean, if you're learning, obviously, you want to go through it, but... Here's what we got. We put the phantom props on it. Everything's trying to turn it around. I think I'm gonna take this this one here and put down here because I only got one red one. If you remember seeing Max K, one of the arms were out, so I'll put that down on the bottom there. And then we got the uh, and I got a green here and a green here. So I'm gonna try angle look I guess and then this guy here I was trying to figure out where I want to put it but once I get the board you know level and square it up on the thing I just put something like right here and dip, dab get some you know hot glue onto it and then I cut just unsoldered the wires on the ESCs for now and the board is going to be setting reset switch so yeah I'm gonna have to prop the board up a little bit it's sitting right on that reset switch you push it it literally clicks it in so yeah that would have been a fail build it and then that pressing that switch and then it literally wouldn't have worked at all so that's where we're at now got all the motors bolted in as you can see like I said, got the phantom props on it for now because I have to order the X380 props. I don't have none of them sitting around at all. I wish I did. But, uh, well, gotta buy something. But that's all about the hobby. Let's see if I probably got my antenna hit a little bit. But that guy's fragile, so I'm gonna just not even worry about that. I get some old glue off of some wires, make it look a little cleaner. And that's it. It's almost 12 o'clock here, midnight, but it rained most of the night, so this is what I did. Stayed here, built this back. Well, she's solid, too. Like, she'll go like this, but this way, and I, I don't know. I think it's going to be a pretty badass one, I believe. I want to put something, like, across here, too, though. Like, something kind of like this, though. If you hit it, it ain't just gonna smash right on the boards and tear shit up, because that's exactly what would happen. But, so who knows, I might cut the old body. Here's something for some giggles. Just thought about this. <laughs> what? That looks pretty damn good, too. To be honest with you. Way up off that end town. But now nah, we know this ain't no bugs. We know what this is. I'm going to call it the XKF450. <laughs> Basically, right? I mean, it's got all XK parts in it. That would be the proper thing to call it, I believe. But that's it. So far, guys. Told you I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. I kind of don't like how them, but they wiggle with that. I don't think you have too much to worry about that on there. But told you I'm going to do it, and I did it. Got a few more things to button up, and uh, I got to lengthen these wires to here on all four ESCs. And that's it. And do some hot glue and get some something to pick this board up here a little bit. And I will be doing a test flight. Hopefully. I'm trying to think why I wouldn't do a test flight. Honestly, other than soldering them wires right at this point, that's the biggest uh, thing to do. 
there's the boarding, no problem. The mount, make sure it's squared up. And you got to make sure these are perfectly level and square on this right here. Because if not, it will be off, believe me. She will, you'll never get her to stay straight. I've learned that much messing with these things. But there you go. Thank you for watching. Shout out to Eric the Red RC. He said he'd be watching, so there you go, brother. Thanks for watching.